Ah, uh, I hate that I have to do this video. Hate that I have to do this video. I want to make this video very quick. And, um, hey, you guys can take this information however you want. That's up to you. Um, I don't want to come off like I'm a disgruntled driver. But you know what? I'm done with Veo. I can't. I can't. I can't drive for Veo. I can't. Um, if you're looking to make money for Veo, you're not. You're not. It's not worth it. Um, the payout's too low. That's too low. I mean, I got you driving all over the place for five and six dollar rides, eight dollar rides, and some of these rides can take you no know, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Um, no, 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 no. It's not worth it. Gas prices is going up. It's not worth it. it it's it's not worth it at all. Um, it's not the most organized company. Very disorganized. Very very disorganized there's no customer service where you can call in which sucks so if you have a complaint you gotta actually go into the office which is tedious the little um, the email that they tell you to um, if you have any questions or concerns reach out to them it takes them about a month for them to reply back to you They won't pay you for cancel uh, cancel trips. They won't. I still haven't got paid. I still haven't got paid. It's a lot of cancellations. And what I mean by cancellations, I mean when you get there, because they, they instruct you to when you arrive to your um, destination, excuse me, the location for pickup, you have to call the passengers. These people will tell you, oh, I never scheduled a ride. Oh, or, oh, I canceled the ride. Like, what? So that's a wasted trip. It's a wasted trip. And they won't pay you for it. They tell you, oh, you got to, you know, fill out this form, a fair review, and, and you got to submit it. It took them three weeks for them to respond to me. I have to, you saw the videos. If you follow my channel, they sent me notifications acknowledging that they do owe me. They ain't never sent me the money. Never sent me the money. And then the, the issue that I had today was because I drive for Hop Skip Drive and I needed um, an updated vehicle inspection report. So I'm like, okay, well, let me just go to. Veo, since I started with them about a few months ago, let me get a copy of my vehicle inspection and just send it over to uh, Hopski Drive. No big deal. They told me no. The guy in the office told me no. Says it's for internal purposes only. And he was very rude and, and, and very abrasive about it. They asked me what is it for, and I told him the truth. Like, hey, I drive for another, you know, uh, company, and I just wanted to, just a copy just to send to him. He tells me no. That's for internal purposes only. I'm like, what? So now I gotta go and do another vehicle inspection. It's not a big deal, but it's just tedious. <sighs> I'm like, wow. Wow. Just fail's not a good company. I mean, I can go on and on and on just the issues that I've had with this company. Um, I liked helping the elderly people. Um, very nice people. Very nice people. I have no issues with, the, I've never had any issues with the passengers. It's just it's just the location, you know? And, and I'm at in Southern California, Orange County. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot of problems, man. It's a lot of problems. It's two guys that work in the office. One guy is nice and helpful. One guy's a little smart aleck. If he sees this video, I don't care. 
I'm done driving for Veo. I'm done. I'm done. You know, beware. Beware of Veo. I'm telling you. Beware of Veo. Read the reviews. Read the reviews. I'm just... <laughs> and the passengers, they don't know who's picking them up. So once you get that alert to pick up a passenger, they don't have no detailed information on you. So it's confusing for them. They don't know who you are. All they see is if you just have that logo on the back of your vehicle, that's it. But what if there's three different Veo uh, drivers pull up in one location how would they know which vehicle is for them how would they know it's just the system is terrible and gas prices is going up gas prices is going up it's like what six dollars a gallon in certain areas so you're going to drive all over the place to make five dollars and fifty cents, some rides are like four bucks. What? You're you're not even working for gas money. And you got some people out there. This is all they do is just veil. What? You do better just getting a real job. I don't see. I don't see this company lasting be honest with you. So I'm done driving for Veo. I can't do this anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't. This is like running on a treadmill dealing with this company. Serious. And my girl, my, my fiance, she's a therapist. And a lot of her clients, they use Veo to her clients that don't have transportation and they they just they don't like the company they don't like the company but they have no other choice because they don't have transportation and that's probably how they make it is you got you know people sick people elderly people disabled people who need transportation and there's no other services out there And it's cheaper than an Uber and a Lyft. So that's how they probably get over. And they bill in Medi-Cal, you know, a Medi-Cal. So there's no money. But it's just, you're driving, you're driving for nothing. So that's my little video on Veo. I'm done with Veo. I'm done. No more Veo uh, videos. I'm done. Moving on, moving forward, okay? And then pretty soon, probably no more hop, skip, drive videos. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm done.